What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to my painting area. I have six Dark Eldar Venoms to show you. They're basically all identical. They're for a Dark Eldar commission. Um, I'm only gonna show them all together here at the very beginning of this video because there's, they're all pretty much the same. I'm, I'm working on them pretty much all the same right now. Um, they're for a client who wanted six Dark Eldar Venoms and this client, Michael, was actually the one who donated the money along with paying for this commission. He donated all of the money, the extra money that I needed to get the new laptop. So I'm really happy that I was able to secure this and he was even nice enough to mention that he really wanted the majority of the money to go to uh, getting the new computer. So thank you, Michael. Without your uh, generous donation, I wouldn't have been able to purchase the computer. And uh, I wanted to show these guys to you because I'm using a color scheme that Michael had already painted. So let me see if I can bring it up. It's a beautiful color scheme that starts with, uh, it's like black fading to purple and it has white, uh, it has white in the, um, in the cracks and the crevices that I, I haven't been able to get to the in between the panel lines. Uh, here we go, I'll show it to you on my phone. So um, there you can see the, what, what it's gonna look like eventually. You can see the red gemstones, the transition with the colors fading to um, black at the nose. and um, the crew I'm working on separately right now as well. So what do I have to do? I have to hit the, the panel lines in between the panels with white. I have to um, work on building up the transitional colors, but I'm really happy with the way they are looking right now. I think they're not only very close and similar to what he's working on, but I, since I don't have an airbrush, I'm working with my, um, with my hand brushes and I'm tr doing the transitional colors using a lot of uh, paint thinner paint medium so that I can kind of create the uh, blend as, as nicely as I can. I'll turn them around as we're wrapping up. Um, this is what I've been working on today and I'm really pleased with how you can kind of see it go from that screamer pink which is more of almost like a reddish purple to the dark Nagroth night and then going into the black. I used a, a very watered down Abaddon black as a wash. So I'm gonna hit it up with metallics next. The interesting thing is that the client would has also requested for the final effect on these guys. Michael has requested to add blue flames, like ghostly blue flames to uh, the sides of the venoms. So um, those are gonna be really interesting to do. I think I have a couple of ideas for that. Uh, it might necessitate me actually going out and getting a an airbrush so that I could use some stencils with those but uh, but I don't know I think I, I can I think I might be able to do it I've got some ideas on how I can hand paint some um, nice ghostly blue venoms uh, flames on the venoms rather I'm trying to I'm trying to find the pictures of them. It's a fun project. I love painting uh, Dark Eldar vehicles. I think the vehicles are really cool to look at. I think they're beautiful. They're, the, the lines on them look really nice. Okay, I don't think I can seem to find the pictures of the ghost flames that he sent, but um, if you can imagine, they're gonna be kind of like those old 50s or 60s muscle cars that have the flames painted up along the sides, but they're gonna be a very ghostly bluish um, color, very icy cold. And uh, so there's gonna be a little bit more transition. I'm gonna paint a little bit more black and uh, get, get more of a darker base to have the, the blue flames popping out from. But I'm very happy with it. You know, six Eldar Venoms, uh, there's no joke. I'm really working on doing them kind of assembly line style today. That's what I was working on, getting the colors laid out one by one, and then moving on to the next one. It's really easy to do because uh, you just kind of throw a video on or throw some music on and let your mind just focus on the work. 
And yeah, I hope this has been some motivation to you guys. If you're working on vehicles or if you're working on a squad or a horde of stuff today and you just can't find the motivation to do it, uh, let me tell you, I did, I did my work today. It was, um, it was, it was uh, very productive for me today. And I hope you have a productive day, evening as well. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you were able to get some inspiration and motivation from this video, and we'll see you in the next one.